Hello, welcome to a short look at Sky Rogue, a game currently in alpha. This is the Steam version. I think it was made by Fractal Phase. I'm sorry, I am terrible at this all uh, research stuff. I'm uh, going to make a very short view of this. Uh, I probably shouldn't do Let's Plays. Ever. I am not good at color commentary, but I'd really like, you know, just to get some more exposure if I can convince at least one person to look at it or buy it. My mission is accomplished. So let's play and I'll try to fly so that you don't get uh, motion sickness. I'll do my best. I've been playing this game for a while and I really dislike this music. I really don't like it, but it's okay. So this is our little uh, aircraft, uh, a flying aircraft carrier. And on the right side you can see command. Do I have a mouse? I don't. I don't know if you can see it actually. Oh well. On the uh, right side there is command. We have to uh, defeat one command. I'm just going to go with my mouse in case you can see it or not. And on the left side we have our launch, load, loadout and aero lab. I don't know what this aeropedia is. But uh, command basically means we have a ground target. So what we want to do is go to an aero lab. Ah yes. Uh, loadout is where we sh choose our ship. So, I've already fitted out some of these ships. This is my Zulu medium bomber, which is pretty kick-ass. And the loadout of two ground, uh, well, two specialized ground to, uh, what is it? Ground to ground? Air to ground. Air to ground missiles. Of course air to ground, I'm in the air. And we have our dodge. Uh, gra aero dodge, which is going to be pretty funny to see this giant ship do uh, barrel rolls or aileron rolls, as you know they're properly called. We have a little. You can change the color. I like hive drone the most. This is the default. And well, you can choose the weapons. On the left side, you see pay payload and avionics. All weapons have payload and avionics on them, depending on what you need or depending on what you put on. Uh, the payload of avionics increase. Payload is, well, usually in the big, 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 uh, well, explosives, just as bombs. And avionics is more in rockets. So avionics is basically air-to-air -air combat. Payload is air-to-ground combat. That's why this ship has 200 payload and 80 avionics. We have quite a few ships here. This is the, uh, hmm, which one's the first one? I think the first one is this one. Is it? Yes, this one. And there's quite a few. Do -do 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 Look at all these ships. Some of them are actually pretty cool. But I want to use this one, because it also has quite good health. Okay, so we're done. Press B. Arrow Lab is where we spend the credits to upgrade our weapons. These upgrades are temporary, and as it says, upgrades are lost if you die. So let's just go. Really dislike the menu music. Here we go. So, you know, since Star Fox Zero turned out to be rather shoddy on the controls, as I said I'm going to try to fly as gently as possible because this, if you're not the one playing it, can make you quite dizzy. Whoa, whoa, calm down. So, we're going to log on to our mission objective, if I can, please. There you go. And we're going to. Oh dear, being shot at. Please. There you go. Let him loose. Okay, I think we hit him. We're gonna accelerate because we're being shot at. As you see, the graphics are nothing you could say right home about, but uh, seriously, the gameplay is pretty fun. It's a good old uh, dogfighting. It's roguelike too, so if you die once, all of your mission progress is gone as was hinted in the upgrade section. Ah! Ugh. Please, hold on, there you go. Now here we have our bombing reticule. I'll tell that command what for. Hey, mission complete. On the left hand side we can see an alert, which means that now we have more wonderful company to deal with in the form of these drones. It will try to shoot down for some extra points. Oh! Oh dear. 
You're good, but I'm better. Come on. There you go. Come here. Don't you leave. Don't you think you can flee? Oh, see those those crosses mean that he managed to successfully avoid that. Well done. And one moment. Uh oh, sure. ah. Okay. Nope, no, 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 no. This is going to definitely go cause some motion sickness, so we're gonna follow the base arrow and just leave. Uh, here we're gonna do one of the funny things about this game, is completely un oh dear, sorry. Completely unrealistic uh, flight, which is fun, because it's more arcadey, I can just basically oh you know I don't have enough altitude. Put the thing completely vertical and accelerate. It's, uh, well, it's not realistic, but I love it. I love to be able to do that. So there we go. Now we have to approach the uh, base at a reasonable speed and angle, and we will automatically land. We'll have to do one more mission, and there I'll definitely show up the dodge. Oh, there we go. Mission successful. So now we have Foundry, which I, which uh, are ground targets again. So we're going to keep the same one. We're going to spend our money on one of our bombs, if I can. Doesn't seem like I can, though. Hmm. Nope. Because what we're using is the Warhammer and the Yumi precision-guided bomb, and I can upgrade neither. I can also not, not upgrade the dodge, so... Hmm. <coughs> there we go. I've been watching uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged, which I am almost ashamed I didn't know of its existence. There's so many people watched it. But now I'm, now I'm binge watching the whole thing. Gotta stay up to current events. Okay, so while we're not ooh, while we're not being attacked, I definitely want to try and shoot the fire. Oh, here we go. Now it begins. Being locked on. Now they... I've been going in a very... Uh oh Oh dear. Oh dear. No. Pull up. Oh dear. And it begins. Enemy lock on. Incoming. Oh. Now the action begins. The drones actually were not outfitted with any homing missiles, so that's why it was very easy not to get hit at all. I think... Yeah, we defeated the one. So let's quickly go to the next one. Because this ship is not very... Uh, not outfitted or not very capable of taking an... Oh. Ugh. Oh god, the found this is gonna miss, isn't it? Screw it. We don't have the time to do another run. Oh goodness. I might have to take that on the chin. Oh dear. Oh dear. Our life in the bottom right is going low. So if that took care of it. Ugh. Which I think it didn't. Evade. Oh my goodness. Okay, screw it. This is dangerous. I think I could have taken the foundry out, but nope, we're not risking that. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, suddenly very intense. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, 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 this is bad. There you go. It's a bit more cinematic. I think you can change the view. What was it? Select. There you go. Obviously, this is now fun. You can see that I have, like, very weird things on the side. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. And then we have this view, which is pretty cool like some sort of cinematic view, but I'm just gonna skip ahead, go to our base, because there we can get our health refilled. Alright, now we full stop. I hope that was enough. There you go. Might have mentioned it, not very realistic. That one will take, and here we go. Boom. I don't know. I th yeah, you can re-outfit yourself if you. If it turns out that you have the wrong missiles, for example, if you only have air-to-air -air missiles, then you know, in this mission, you would need to re-outfit yourself. But we do. That Falcon wants a piece of me, and he's gonna get it. Oh, he dodged as well. Oh, hold on, careful. Don't make the viewers any dizzier than they already are. If I can't avoid it. Oh dear! Please, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. No. Oh god. This is gonna be a terrible bombing run. Oh, never mind. Incomplete. 
No, pull up. Ah, help. The tension. That, by the way, is an enemy carrier. Which is one of the coolest things to shoot down. It looks, well, for me, basically. It's it's just, just for me. I just like the idea of giant floating uh, fortresses. It looks really cool when it, you know, flies down. And it seems to be spewing these, these falcon guys out of it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't overdo it. Please don't puke. Please don't puke. If you're watching this. Calm down. It's almost over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do a short look. Just two missions. They do get harder, and sometimes you have giant flying planes, which is pretty cool. If the next mission has them, then I'll uh, show the uh, show them briefly. But this is all I want to show for the short look, really. Okay, now full stop. Hold it. Arr! Done. Corvette. I don't know what that is. Okay, I think it might be a carrier? Oh man, please be a giant floating, a giant flying ship or something. Oh my god, look at that thing! Holy, holy, look at this! Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that looks so cool. I want to go closer. Look at this. I can sometimes you have to take down a giant floating, look at this thing. Oh my god, I'm gushing so hard. Oh, please. And you have to take it down, too. I think air-to-air -air is appropriate here. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. Sure, it doesn't look great, but for me, it just... For me personally, it, it's really cool. You're fighting an... Ah! Uh, fighting a giant, uh... Giant enemy, uh... Warship. Look at this. Oh, so cool. Such a... Such a uh, being such a nerd guy right now, oh, and I died. Well, that's what I get. And there we go. We loop, loop right back to this again. And that's Sky Rogue. You can also have free flight, which basically just is you flying around with literally nothing to do. There's no enemies or anything. There's some options behind controls. I probably should have made this windowed, but, you know, that would require me to uh, be professional in wanting to retake a video. Mm. But there you go. You can find it on Steam. It's still in Early Access, as you can see, and it might probably take quite a while to get out of Early Access, but right now it's actually pretty fun. Arcadey game, you know. So, I hope I can convince you to look at it and maybe even buy it, support it, and, you know, hopefully, in the future, it'll get even cooler than this. That's it for me. Have a good day.